Hey, how are you all doing? Welcome to this photo loop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you around the cutout tool. So in this image here, I've just got a macro photograph that I've taken with the iPhone. At the bottom, you can see I have various tools, but the one, as I mentioned, that we're gonna focus on today is this cutout tool. So if I select it, now what I have is I have object background, clothes and greenery along the top. We also have more options that are grayed out, but it doesn't recognize that any of those things are in this picture so it leaves them greyed out. So in this instance, on the left-hand side, we have all selected, but I can select any of these objects like this, and it will just quickly select them. And you see, just by selecting the object, it does a really good job of doing so. And likewise, with a background, it does a really good job of doing so. Let's see what it thinks that we've got in clothes. Okay, so, and then let's see the greenery. So... You notice in the greenery it doesn't quite do as good a job as if we chose the object and then none of the other um, items it recognizes as those within the um, within the screen. So if we sit in all, what you can see, it's got the auto cut selected as well. Um, we could go to the arrays and just start erasing things. And this just really helps for fine tuning after you've done an automatic selection. Um, and again, with a restore, if you just want to restore what you've just erased, and again, this is probably better for when you are doing refining selections and doing just real fine details. The inversion just inverts the selection that you've got. And then we could put this into um, like a shape mask, which is quite um, which is quite good as well. Okay, so now we've changed the image. We have or will have a few more things that's opened up to us, i.e. person. So you can choose a person. You could choose the background, which we could before, but you notice. And when I was talking about the fine tune, just these little bits here, look, you notice you could just erase those. And then that would just tidy up your selection a little bit. Let's go back to this, go back to the cutout. Um, clothes, so you can select people's clothes. And then if we go over a little bit more, another menu that's um, become optional is our face. So you can select the face or the head. And it does do quite a good job. I don't know where it thinks water is, but there's no water in there. But on the subject of water, no segue there. Let's go over and choose an image with water. So here now we have got an image with water. Again, we could go to object, just select the boat. We could go for water here. And it's done a quite a good job of selecting that water. And so a good example of the way I could use this now would be to import an image with some water, make it roughly the same size like so. Go to my layers, drag this layer above this one. And then we've got this other cool little tool. I can drag the layer on top like so. And then instead of selecting merge, select harmonize, and then it will try and harmonize the best it can to get the layers to sort of match the feeling of each other. It doesn't always work 100%, but there's a few things that you could do to this um, image to there. tweak it. So I hope this um, cutout tutorial helps you out. Thanks a lot um, for watching, and I'll catch you all very soon.